Hi, this is Molly with Jumpin' Rope. I'm here today with Katie. Uh, we're here to talk to you about jump rope size, what size jump rope is right for you. First things first, whenever you have a jump rope, what we would like you to do is to size it in a way where you step on it with two feet, you pull the handles up to your armpits and you have the handles go right into your armpits right here. Then the next thing that you wanna do is you want to get a coach or a friend and have them stand out in front of you and watch you actually do some singles. And when they're watching you, what they wanna look for is the movement over their head. What we would like to see is about 10 inches over their head. That creates a nice arc and it also creates a nice arc underneath our feet as well. Anything more than 10 inches is just gonna cause a lot of slap on the ground and unneeded weight in the air that we don't want, okay? So Katie here is now gonna demonstrate with her rope that came up to her armpits and we're gonna watch what goes on with over her head. So here we are watching Katie. We're looking at the arc of the rope over her head. It looks like we have around 10 inches over her head. So based on the way that she's jumping now and her form and her technique, this is the right size rope for her. However, if you've tuned into some of our videos, you'll understand from this form and foundation that it's not very efficient. And so Katie, she's gonna work on the efficiency of her body foundations when, when she's jumping rope. So I want you to notice the arc of the rope as she changes her foundations, moving her hands closer to her hips as she's progressing through this. So we notice her hands come closer to her hips and she juts her elbows back. She's very efficient right now, but let's look over her head. We have about, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four feet over her head. All this excess slap out in the ground, she's even making mistakes, okay? So this rope that was the right size for her when she checked in, no longer works for her form and foundation as she tries to become more efficient as a jumper. So the next step that we're gonna take is we'll make some adjustments to a rope and we'll keep going back and forth as athlete and coach to make sure that, that that rope size is working for her based on the foundation of her hands in relation to her hips. So now that Katie has made another adjustment to shortening her rope, she's gonna practice her jumps again and we're gonna take a look over her head and there's still quite a bit of movement up there. We're gonna continue making these adjustments according to her form. Perfect. So now we have that nice arc. We have that nice 10 inches over her head. She's sustaining, her hands are by her hips and everything's looking good. So as you can see today that your form is gonna be constantly changing. So it's very important that you have a rope that can adjust with you with all these constant changes. That's why at Jumpin' Rope, all of our ropes come fully adjustable on the fly all the time. Thank you for stopping in. We'll see you guys next time. Talk, 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 talk. So here we are looking over Katie's head, looking for 10 inches, and we're gonna stop for a second, and seriously, because there's like 20 inches over her head.